For Christians, the events that happened in the Garden of Eden is an important one, as it is written in the first book of the Bible, and it introduces fundamental concepts where Christian doctrine is built upon original sin and free will. Based on the story of creation, the Garden of Eden materialized in the sixth day. And in the story, there are four main characters, God, Adam, Eve, and the serpent, or Satan. In that story, the garden was already lush. But there's a fifth character, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The tree produces a fruit that God forbade Adam and Eve to pick and eat. They ultimately ate the fruit, and in the Christian faith, that is how the world ends up how we know it now. In Genesis, a passage goes, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you'll surely die. So, the tree in the center of the garden, its fruit is forbidden. Full disclosure, I was raised Catholic, and my wife's a Christian, and sometimes I participate in Bible study activities and read devotionals with my wife. I make an effort to have some type of spirituality in my life, but I admit, I do grapple with faith sometimes. I am also a scientist, and my PhD training was in quantitative genetics and evolutionary ecology, focusing on plants, hence popular botany. While I do like to tie in biblical and spiritual concepts to the topic of botany, I'm not going to pull any punches when it comes to explaining science and nature to my audience. To me, religion and science are two separate things. And my channel is not about reconciling the science with religion, but part of it is about making logical and possibly empirical sense about botany that is found in spiritual and historical text. So, now to the main question of this video. What species was the forbidden fruit? One assumption for this analysis is that when the Garden of Eden was flourishing, everything was native and natural. And Adam and Eve didn't do any gardening or farming. Everything they needed was there. If anything, farming and agriculture was a byproduct of having free will. So now let's introduce my candidate fruits or candidate species. First one is apple or Malus domestica. Naturally, the ancestral source of apple were in the mountains of Central Asia, and that's where the ancient relative of the apple originates and it was domesticated about 10,000 years ago. The next candidate fruit is the edible fig or fig, Ficus carica. There's archaeological evidence of edible fig as early as uh, 9400 BCE and it occurred in the Jordan Valley and surrounding areas. So it's around that area where a lot of the biblical events happened. The third candidate fruit is the pomegranate and its native range is from, from Iran to India. So it's a pretty wide range. So which ones of these three candidate fruits are likely were likely in the Garden of Eden? Let's first determine where exactly, or not exactly, but what's the likely location of the Garden of Eden. I'm not going to go through um, who um, studied it and who hypothesized it but the main consensus is among the scholars is the Garden of Eden is in southern Mesopotamia and now the modern location of Iraq where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers run into the sea. So first let's overlay all these geographical information from the data that we we got from the fruits and the potential location of the Garden of Eden and see if we can determine from that data which 
which fruit might be in that garden. So based on this map that I created, fig and pomegranate are possible candidates that had native populations within the Garden of Eden. In a lot of historical artwork, especially in European paintings, depictions of the Garden of Eden typically shows apple as the forbidden fruit. This is probably because the apple was the most popular fruit back then, but there's a more intriguing reason. The Latin words for apple and evil are both malice and spelled pretty much the same. So if we're basing our analysis using natural history and archaeological data, however, then apples are the least likely fruit to be in the Garden of Eden. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one is there's no evidence of naturally occurring malice species in the Mesopotamia region, the ancient site of Iraq. And the number two reason is the ancient relative relatives of apple occurred in high elevation areas in Central Asia. And these locations aren't really typical and not close to Mesopotamia. It's basically in the Middle East is where the Garden of Eden is potentially. And according to the Bible, the, tr the tree was in the center of the garden. And these maps that showed um, Apple, the ancestral region of Apple, is nowhere near the Garden of Eden. So, now that I've given you some information about the three fruits, I'd like to know what you think the species of uh, for forbidden fruit is. Let me know in the comments. Did I miss another possible species? If you like the botanical topics that I dis discuss in my channel, please hit like and tap the subscribe button. I hope you enjoy my story and if you like videos that intersect geography, history, and botany, please make sure to check out my future videos on the ecology and distribution of spices. This is Dr. Luntian, your YouTube botanist, saying let's meet again in our next botany session.